we announced on Monday a new project called Project Lavina, which is a real-time uh, ray tracing technology that we did. Um, it's a basically a research project. We wanted to see how far we can push the RTX technology from NVIDIA and to see what are the capabilities and what are the limitations. So what you see is simply an experiment. We don't pretend that it's yet a final product. Our goal was to make a, a real-time uh, preview of a VRA scene file based on DXR with, with pure ray tracing. So we didn't want any pre-calculation. We didn't want baking of light maps. We didn't want unwrapping of UVs. Um, uh, we don't want people to have to place reflection probes, which you have to do if you go to a game engine like Unreal, and it's fine because you get very good results, but it's a lot of, of work, and we have customers that just want to click a button and get to an interactive situation where they can walk around the model and look at it from different sides without bothering with the technical details. And the other requirement that we wanted to do was to build this for very large data sets and we specifically research how to do out-of-core geometry ray tracing with uh, DirectX and with the uh, uh, RTX technology. Um, this is the implementation. The first implementation is an interactive UAC scene viewer that we implemented uh, to test it out. And here is the part where we do the, the live demo. So fingers crossed it might take a while. So when this gets running, it will take a while. Um, so now you can drag and drop any VRA scene file uh, into the uh, VRA scene viewer. And this is the exact same scene that we saw rendered with the VRA cloud earlier. So it's got a bunch of VRA proxies in it. Uh, to be precise, there are like 20 VR mesh files. Um, but they're scattered around. Uh, so there are two viewer instances in the scene. It was exported from 3ds Max. One of them has 40,000 objects. The other one has 80,000 objects. So its total is uh, 120,000 instances. Um, if you count the unique number of triangles, there are 100 million. When you combine all the instances, it's more than 300 billion triangles. And this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, we also have a few camera animations uh, that we exported from 3ds Max. So this is what you get. And this is obviously not pre-recorded. It's, uh, it's real time. So um, what I can do is I can pause this and then I can, uh, yeah a little bit different right now, but you can look around and uh, you can zoom into stuff. We actually, when we posted the video on YouTube, somebody uh, said, how do I know that these are not just billboards uh, of the trees? And uh, you, can, you can see that they're not billboards. <laughs> uh, they're, they're actual, they're also no, there's also no opacity mapping. Everything is pure geometry. Every single leaf is modeled. So this is not, uh, it's not a trick. The only texture map here is for, for the uh, landscape and also for the environment. Um, we're also using heavily denoising for this. Um, even though RTX gives us the ability to trace rays very quickly, we can still only do just a few rays per pixel, whereas a final image from V-Ray can take thousands of, of rays per pixel to compute. So, we're not there yet with real time, so we have to use denoising quite a bit to get there. Um, but um, still, it's better than nothing. So if we look around, we can actually see that there's a house right here on the edge of the lake. Originally, we thought that we should make a nice fly through uh, around the house, but then it turned out that the model of the house that we have is slightly above the ground, so we didn't look so <laughs> good. <laughs> just one end of it is just flying a little bit in the air. Again. Let's see what it looks like. 
Um, we also support it in addition to camera animations, we also support animated transforms with this. We haven't looked into deforming geometry yet, but it is also possible to do that. So there are a few other uh, examples that uh, we have for this. And it's pretty much uh, drag and drop very scene files from, uh, in this case, they were exported from 3ds Max, but obviously they could come in from anywhere. Um, I didn't really do anything much to the very scene files. There's no specific preparation that needs to be done inside of Max. You just, uh, let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I'll skip just. Okay, there we go. And you can walk around and um, it looks like a game basically, but you can also see reflections a little bit and also they're not, they're not screen-based reflections. Always I can see what's behind me reflected in the mirror just fine. Um, so uh, the current implementation does, this specific implementation obviously does a sunlight and also one bounce of GI. We do reflections and refractions. Um, we can do texture maps, but uh, in a real time situation, we can't really do a lot of procedural shading. So um, it's not very realistic to expect to bring in a full production shading network in this and still run at 40, 30 frames per second. It will still do maybe like five frames per second, but uh, if you want the frame rate, you have to keep the shaders relatively simple. That's what we found. Um, let's see a few other scenes. And you can see that the millions here go up quite easily because just pe when people build scenes in Max, they don't think so much about um, actually going to real time. So bringing in millions of polygons is, is not really a problem for, uh, for Levina and for DXR. Uh, again, this scene is relatively, uh, so the HDR is weird, don't pay attention to it. This ship is not supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it just looked nice and uh, so we, we can do GI. In this case, it's a little bit dark because we only do one bounce. We can do more, but it loses the interactivity at this moment. Um, you can also see through the glass. The denoising makes it a little blurry. It's not perfect. And I must have, I myself don't like denoising too much, but in this case, we, with only a few rays per pixel, there is really not a whole lot that we can do. We need the, the denoising. And that's, we hope that it can be made to work better. So uh, at some point we will probably try to find out ways to make it look nicer. Um, what else can we do? There's one more scene that I wanted to show you. This one is an office space. There's some coffee machine here. And like I said, there's no, there's no light baking. Everything here is, is calculated completely in real time. Um, yeah, this, this scene worked fine. Um, some scenes work better than others, so it's still real time. So there's still limitations that you have to consider, but still a lot better than waiting minutes for a render to complete. And that's it. Cool.